Suborbital Foreman, Suborbital Margin, Gabella. Did you hear me? Yep. Oh, yeah. Roman Magnum, Occipital Condylis, External Occipital Protuberance, Fossa for Cerebrum, and Fossa for Cerebellum. Like what? <laughs> Squamous structure. Suture. No? Suture. 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 External auditory meatus. <laughs> Mandibular fossa. Mastoid process. Styloid process. Zygomatic arch, right here. Stylo moisted foreman. Pitcher's portion. Ex internal auditory matus. Mm -hmm. Jugular foreman. Jugular foreman and the carotid canal. Pretty much. Dude. Celia tercia. <laughs> Greater wings. Lesser wings. Optic foreman. Superior or orbital fissure. Inferior orbital fissure. Form rotundum. Form spinosum. Form spinosum. Form oval. Form lacerum. Lateral petrigoid plate. Medial picture board plate. The cribiform plate. Perpendicular plate. Krista Galley. Palantine process, incisive fossa, alivore process, oh. alivore process, the ridge containing the teeth, and infraorbital foreman. Oh. Zagumatic arch, zagumatic facial foreman. Nasal bone. You got it done, bro? Well, I'm probably going to do it with my friend Kayla. That's what she was saying. Mental foreman, condyla process, coronoid process, mandibular notch, and mandibular foreman.
Okay, first three are molars. The first three are the molars. molars. Then, then the, the second canines. would be the bicuspids, these two. And then the canines. And the incisors, these two. So it goes three, two, two. Yeah. Right? Three, two, one, two. Oh, the canines one. And the incisors are the 